What's up guys welcome back to yet another video so in this video we'll be talking about how to install stock os of nothing phone one after you have installed custom room because in past we have flashed few custom rooms on nothing phone one and we have been getting a lot many comments asking us to show the guide of flashing nothing os on nothing phone one so in this video we'll show you guys step by step guide on the same process so without wasting any more time let's get started so here you can see i have my nothing phone one which is currently running on the first build of paranoid android which is based on android 13 so as you can see here this is paranoid android alpha 1 and we'll be downgrading a device and flashing the stock os of nothing phone 1 before proceeding make sure you remove all the passwords present on your device after that you just have to tap on build number seven times until you see you are a developer now and later just go to system developer option enable usb debugging and you are good to go if you see any pop-up just allow necessary permissions on your PC, you'll be requiring a tool called platform tool and here make sure to use the latest one. I'll provide all the download links in the description below. You can download them from there. After that, you'll be requiring the stock firmware of nothing OS. In my case, I'll be using nothing OS 1.1.4 version because this version worked for me since morning. I've been trying to shoot a video on the same topic, but there were some issues here and there and things did not go as per plan. After that, you'll be requiring a boot image and a vendor boot image. So these two files which is boot and vendor image i'll extract and give it to you guys in the description below for global for global users we have different files and for european users we have different files so make sure to download the correct file same goes with the stock firmware there will be two download links in the description below one for the global and the second one will be for european so once you are all set with files you just have to open up command prompt in the same folder of platform tool where you have placed these files easiest way is to open command prompt is type cmd in the address bar and hit enter now first step is to boot a device into fast boot mode and guys after flashing the stock os i'll also tell you guys how to lock the bootloader to boot into fast boot mode give the command adb reboot bootloader and hit enter and guys if you have any kind of issues layer to adb and fast boot drivers i've made a dedicated video i'll link that video in the description below on my pc all the drivers are properly installed so i'm not showing you guys that process if you guys want to check out follow the video which is being displayed on the screen once done hit enter now your device should boot into fast boot mode and there you can see it says device state is unlocked obviously we have flashed the custom room so custom rooms are flashed after unlocking the bootloader itself now the next step is to flash the boot image and the vendor boot image to flash the boot image this is the command type fast boot flash boot boot dot image and hit enter once this is flashed successfully, now it's time to flash the vendor file. So this is the command. You guys can copy the commands from the description below and paste it. Let's hit enter. Once done, now we need to boot a device into fast boot D mode. So for that, give the command fast boot reboot followed by fast boot. Once you hit enter, now your device should boot into fast boot D mode. Here you can see it says fast boot D. Now from here you need to boot your device into recovery. Use the volume key to navigate and select enter recovery and make selection using power key. From here scroll down and you need to select apply update from ADB. Again make selection using power key. Now let's sideload the firmware. So here we have the firmware which is of nothing OS 1.1.4 version. To sideload the firmware we'll give the command adb sideload i'll drag the file and drop it in the command prompt now i'll hit enter and i'll wait for the process to complete the entire process might take around 10 minutes okay so here you can see without any kind of errors the process have completed at 94 percent and here also we don't see any kind of errors now what you have to do is you need to perform a factory reset from here scroll down using volume key select wipe data slash factory reset make selection using power key factory reset data and now reboot system now a device should boot with nothing os 1.1.4 version later after locking the bootloader you guys can update your device to the newer build of course the device have been successfully booted up i'll quickly complete the initial setup so that we can lock the bootloader now let's go to settings about section tap on software info tap on build number seven times once developer option is enabled go back go to system developer options from here you just need to enable usb debugging 
allow the necessary permissions and now let's lock the bootloader so first to lock the bootloader we have to boot a device into fast boot mode again give the command adb reboot bootloader hit enter and after device boots into fast boot mode give the next command to lock bootloader that is fast boot flashing lock and hit enter you'll see a pop up on the device from here again use volume keys to select lock bootloader and make selection using power key now your device will perform a factory reset and again boot into system but this time we'll have locked bootloader okay so our device have been successfully booted up let me again complete the initial setup and we'll show you guys whether we get an OTA update or not so if we go to settings system system update and there you can see we have the update of latest build which is nothing os 1.1.6 now you guys can download and install the latest build on your device and guys i'm not sure whether this file will work in future if there are any kind of changes i'll update you guys in the comment section or pinned comment but mostly until we get android 13 you can use these files to flash stock os if you have flash custom rom and if you still have any kind of questions you guys can let me know in the comment section below as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys gonna like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you're new to a channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day